The Alchemist, a fable about following your dream, is a novel by Brazilian author Paulo Coelho that tells the story of Santiago, an Andalusian shepherd boy who yearns to travel in search of a worldly treasure as extravagant as any ever found. His quest will lead him to riches far different and far more satisfying than he ever imagined. Santiago's journey teaches us about the essential wisdom of listening to our hearts, recognizing opportunity and learning to read the omens strewn along life's path, and, most importantly, following our dreams. The novel begins with Santiago experiencing a recurring dream about discovering treasure in the ruins of the Egyptian pyramids. This dream prompts him to consult a gypsy fortune teller, who interprets it as a prophecy and tells Santiago that he will find a treasure at the pyramids. Santiago is intrigued, but he is uncertain whether he should pursue this vague premonition. Shortly after, Santiago meets an old man in the market who introduces himself as Melchizedek, the king of Salem. Melchizedek speaks to him about personal legends, which are one's destiny in life, and convinces Santiago that he should pursue his own personal legend and search for the treasure. He gives Santiago two magical stones, Urim and Thummim, which can help him make decisions when he is uncertain. Deciding to chase his dream, Santiago sells his sheep and sets off on his expedition to find the treasure. He arrives in Tangier, Morocco, where he is quickly robbed of all he possesses, leaving him with nothing but his will to continue his quest. In Tangier, Santiago decides to work for a crystal merchant to earn the money he needs to continue his journey. Through the experience, Santiago learns about the ways of business and the importance of following one's dreams despite obstacles. Once Santiago has made enough money, he joins a caravan crossing the Sahara Desert, where he meets an Englishman who is studying to become an alchemist. They travel together, and Santiago learns about the soul of the world and the importance of listening to his heart. The Englishman is searching for a centuries-old alchemist residing in the al Fayum oasis, and Santiago becomes curious about alchemy, though he remains focused on his treasure. When the caravan arrives at the oasis, Santiago meets Fatima, a beautiful Arabian girl whom he falls in love with. He is torn between continuing his journey to the pyramids and staying in the oasis with Fatima, but she encourages him to seek out his personal legend, assuring him that she will wait for his return. As Santiago continues his journey within the desert, he encounters the alchemist who teaches him deeper aspects of the spiritual world and the importance of living in harmony with the world's soul. The alchemist offers to accompany Santiago to the pyramids and help him find his treasure. They encounter danger and challenges, but the alchemist uses his knowledge to guide them through, for example, turning lead into gold to avoid conflict with threatening tribes. Santiago learns from the alchemist the true nature of alchemy. It is not merely about transforming base metals into gold, but about the transformation of the human soul. The essence of alchemy is understanding one's own personal legend, and through that, forging a true connection with the universe. Santiago also realizes that love is not a barrier to pursuing one's dreams, but a supportive force that helps them fulfill those dreams. Finally, as they approach the pyramids, Santiago is left to complete the last part of his journey alone. Upon reaching the pyramids, Santiago begins to dig, but finds nothing. Suddenly, he is attacked by a band of thieves. When he tells them about his dream, one of the thieves dismisses it as a useless fantasy, revealing that he had a similar dream about a treasure hidden in Spain, under a sycamore tree where a ruined church and a herd of sheep are located the exact place Santiago had his original dream. Realizing that the treasure was always meant to be found back home in Spain, Santiago returns to Andalusia, to the very spot where he had slept beneath the sycamore tree at the start of his journey. There, he digs and discovers a chest of jewels and gold, finally understanding that the journey itself, with the wisdom and experiences he gained, was the real treasure. Armed with this knowledge, Santiago has fulfilled his personal legend and is now free to return to the oasis to be with Fatima. Through Santiago's journey, the alchemist illustrates how the pursuit of one's dreams is a spiritual endeavor that teaches about love, the interconnectedness of all things, and the importance of listening to one's heart. By following his personal legend, 
Santiago discovers that the real treasures of life are the growth and learning that come from the journey itself. The novel encourages all to be persistent in following one's dreams and to be attentive to the signs, the omens, that might guide one along the path of life. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.